Hi, I'm Dennis DiCicco for Sky and Telescope magazine here at the 2015 Northeast Astronomy Forum, better known to everybody as NEAF. And once again, it's my great pleasure to be talking with the people here at IOPTRON. This time, it's Kevin Zo, chief engineer of the company, a head designer for a lot of the products. IOPTRON has come a long way in the last seven or so years. They started out with the introduction of the Cube, which was the first standalone go-to Altazimuth mount. It became a huge hit, and since then, the company has come on to introduce a huge amount of products. In fact, they've got a great timeline here of some of the stuff they've got. You want to give me a little rundown? Yes, Dennis, let's go this way. All right. Let me uh, uh, tell you some uh, new next mount of that Cube. Uh, this is the Cube Pro. Yep. Actually, you know, the, cool. this is based on the Cube successful we have developed uh, before this one. So this is the mini tower. It has a large payload and also it can mount two uh, telescope. At the same time, you had the ability to put a telescope on one side and also mount over here. You, yes. You've got all the accessories go on this. Takes a heavier payload. Yes, it's a 35 payload, uh, you know, on the main side and another 10 pound on the other side. And it's especially good for the, you know, the daylight observation and also easy to set up. Two minutes, you get a mount set up and running. It's got GPS. Yes. Yes. And what you said about daylight observing, I know a lot of people like setting it up, putting a small telescope on one side with like a white light solar filter so they can look at the sun and then having an H alpha telescope on the other side. So it works really nice for that. Yeah, right. they can see both you know, the, the sunspot and the detail of the solar you know, flares. Yeah. All right, and it's a good mount for that. It comes with all the tripod capabilities, all the alignment. Yes. All right, very good. Moving on. Yeah, let's talk about you know this uh, little uh, equatorial mount. Uh, actually, you know this one is designed for the wide field, like you know up to 80 millimeter uh, uh, reflectors to take the you know small lightweight. Small telescope. lightweight, and also it can be used as you know camera if someone like direct shooting you know the skies. Yeah. All right. So this is also it's the Smart EQ. It's a it's a go-to mount. Yes. The hand control got all the buttons there. The yeah. display on it. All right. And one really nice feature of this is it's got self-contained power. The batteries are built right into it. Yes, actually this battery component can be act as part of the counterweight to balance your mount. And this one comes with the guiding port, so you can auto-guide your camera. All in one mount. All in one mount. Very nice. It's nice with, I, I like the aspect of having the power built in. You don't have extra cords hanging down to get tripped on at night. All right. And also, if you forgot, bring your hand control. This one still can track it by itself. Just turn it on and it starts working? That's correct. Even without the hand control? Yes. Simpler, very nice, good features. What's next? Let's take a look at this one. This is the IQ45 Pro. That's actually the new version of the IQ45. And we reviewed the original mount in 2011 in yeah. Sky and Telescope. That's correct. So what does the new mount have, the Pro version? Yeah, the, the main you know, uh, improvement of this Pro version is we we do the, almost everything inside, like you know, we enlarge the ring gear, we uh, enlarge the you know uh, the wall, and we also did all the electronics, you know, modification. So uh, of course, you know, we are using now using the step motor based on our success on the CM60 system. So you've got new technology now that allows driving stepper motors with much lower power consumption. Yeah, that's correct. So you can, you know, run in the system longer during the evening. Much longer battery. battery life. Yes, that's correct. All right. Now, these scopes, I believe all of your mounts that are equatorial mounts have the capability of having a polar alignment scope, correct? Yes. And that's our, you know, a special design, the polar, uh, polar scope for the alignment. It's very easy for this one because yep. our hand control gives you where the polar star should be and you just look through it, put the polar star at the right position, it takes like five minutes, get everything set up. I know. From reviewing it, I have been extremely impressed with the polar alignment scopes. And you're correct, you get the information on the hand control, look in, just get Polaris on that right spot, and you're aligned well enough for the go-to and for astrophotography and certainly for all the observing. Extremely quick and fast and of course you've got adjustments to allow you to, you know, smoothly adjust it in azimuth and in altitude. Yes. Very good. Yeah. 
if you're observing and the power fails, and then you restore the power, you just pick up from where you were. You don't have to go through the alignment procedure and getting it all set up again? That's correct. That is a big deal. Yeah, so you can save more time for observe instead of, you know, put, you know set up the real, mount, real align it, yeah. Yeah, and I'll tell you, I know the number of times that I've accidentally bumped a cord and interrupted the power and you have to start all over again. So to be able to just immediately start up and observe, that's pretty cool on affordable mount. Yeah, so that's, you know, we can, you know, fix right. things up bad. Actually, Talking about the improvements that have been made to this makes a very good point about your company in general. I mean, you do everything. You design them, engineer them, you have your own factories that make them, you do your own customer service. So if you hear input from users, you can incorporate these changes quickly if you want to improve these mounts. Yeah, this is one of our company's strengths. So we have everything in-house so we can, you know, get things, you know, to the customer and uh, implement the customer's suggestions to the system. Like, just like this, you know, IQ45, we have four iterations to make things getting better and better. Okay, so let's talk about this uh, IQ30. That's a little brother of the IQ45. It uses the same latest technology as this one. Okay. So all the function copy from this one. All right, so it's a good point. So the 45 has roughly a 45 pound limit for the telescope or the load that you want to put on it. Yeah. This is closer to 30 pounds. Yeah, this is 30 pound payload. Okay. Yeah, so. Actually, one thing I just noticed, this has a Vixen dovetail type yes. mount, and the 45 had both a Vixen and a Los Mondi type mount. Yeah, we have an accessory. You can make it to do dovetail setup. So all of these mounts come with the tripod. It's a complete package. Yes, and also customers have the option to upgrade to the heavy-duty tripod or the pier or even the tri-pier. Well, I'll tell you a few seconds later. Yeah, we have something we're going to look at in a yes, moment. Yes, yeah, we are going to see it. So let's take a look at what you have next. This is our invention, new invention of the mount. It's called a center balanced equatorial mount. So we look at it here, the engineer shifted the whole payload back. So make the center of gravity this you know sitting on top of the support. And also you can put it in a mount behind and the counter in front of it, so make it balance. Because of the center balance design, we can use less material to make this things very light. And also because of this you know new design, the poloscope can be accessed all the time. Now this was another mount that was reviewed in Sky and Telescope. And I know with working with it is exactly what you said because you've got the load on one side, the counterweights on the other. It's everything right over the tripod. It's very stable for the size and weight yes. of the mount. In fact, here's this whole mount which is capable of a 25 pound load and I can pick up the mount and tripod with one hand. Yes. It's easy to move around. We did a lot of our testing with a four inch refractor and it was a beautiful system for grab and go. And particularly in my yard where there's a lot of trees around, I could set it up one place and if I needed to move it, it was easy to just pick it up and carry it over with the counterweight and the telescope on it all at one time. Yes, actually this is very popular mount and in this range. And it's a whole new design that Ioptron came up with to put the telescope on one side and the counterweights on the other. Yeah, this one actually we're going to get a US patent very soon. Good, really. And you're carrying this concept even further now, correct? Yes, so we have the, the big brother of this one. Actually, we should say maybe the, you know, the middle brother. It's a, a CM60. Okay. So this is a, the big brother of this one. We carry over the same design concept, center balanced design for this you know, uh, CM60. It is, uh, can carry over 60 pounds of the payload and with a periodical error of plus minus five arc seconds. Really, out of the box? Out of the box. Okay. Yeah. Obviously a mount that's designed for imaging as well as visual use with fairly large payload on it. 60 pounds of telescope and camera or however you want to have, configure it for observing. Okay, so this one have the, always have the same you know, features as the other one, like you know, we have the poloscope, always accessible. And the, one of the unique feature of this kind of you know, system is we have the built-in cable management system. So you can plug your camera through this you know, cable management system, you avoid the cable tangling. That's, I, I know for imaging, it's a fantastic setup. You've got your telescope here, you run your cables from your telescope directly into the saddle. You don't have wires that are hanging down as the telescope sweeps around to get snagged on stuff. And then, you've, so you've got 12 volt power out, 
You've got four USB ports. Yes, and this one, uh, you have the extra port. You can connect your uh, guiding camera or even the network connections. I see you've got this mount on something new. This is your new tripe here? Yes, this is a new one we just introduced. And you can see here, we have uh, three positions. This gives the customer the capability to move up and down. The mount, you can see the tripod here is very sturdy and it has built-in vibration damping. So you've got and the anti-vibration pads built in right. as part of the system. The nice thing about this one is you can set this demo everything and put it into this tube and make it very compact. Then you can put it into this little carrying case. So all of these disassemble and go inside the tube and into that compact little case. Yeah, this is the whole thing when you collapse. So you can put it into a carrying case and you can get in on the flight to travel with your mom. It's very small and very compact. And I see you've got wheels on it for moving it around. Roughly how heavy is the, the tripe here? The tripe here is about 26 pounds. 26 pounds, and it will handle the mount that the CM60. About 200 pounds. 200 pounds total. Yeah. Very good. That's impressive how much it packs down. So far, we've sort of seen how the company has evolved from your little mounts all the way up to the big 60 pound mount. And later this year, you're even going to have a CM120, which is an observatory size version of this. Yes, center. that's correct. All right. But now, some of your newest products are back to small mounts again. So what do you have here? Yeah, so this is a, a camera, basically it's a camera mount. It has a building poloscope for the polar line. And also, it is using our latest technologies from our mount. So this is good for astrophotographer and the regular photographer. I know. This too is a product that we have reviewed in Sky and Telescope magazine, and I noticed it looks like there's some new features or new accessories that go with it. This is the accessory designed for the SkyTrike for a camera with a longer lens, so it can make the system much more balanced. And you have even a little heavier version here. Yeah, this is the one we call the Sky Guider, so it will be give you more payload for the camera, yep. and also it comes with the auto guide port. Really? Yeah, so you can, you know, take a longer photo. Do guided astrophotography with lightweight equipment. That's correct. Very good. And you even have one more camera mount that's brand new. Yeah, that's just released. We have it on the side. Let's go take a quick look. Yeah, okay. So this is our latest eye panel camera mount. This is uh, for professional photographer and uh, filmmaker. So it can tilt and the pen, you know, make the paraloma and the giga, actually it's big gigapixel camera mount. So this can be automatically programmed to turn and tilt and snap the pictures all as an automated sequence. That's correct. All right. This fits it right in with all of your other equipment, which is really precision motion control. Yes. And I know that some of the nightscape photographers are using this type of equipment in their time-lapse movies to both pan and show the motion of the sky. Yeah. Very they, interesting stuff. That's correct. Yeah. All right. Kevin, listen, thank you very much for showing me all the equipment that you have here. If viewers want more information on any of this and your other products, they can go to your website, which is ioptron.com. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I'm Dennis DiCicco for Sky and Telescope Magazine here at the 2015 Northeast Astronomy Forum.